Welcome to the Town of Farmington Zoning Board of Appeals meeting, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Start off introducing the Zoning Board of Appeals. Tom Levitt, I'm Jody Gillis, and I'm Tom York. I introduce the uh, staff. We have Dan Del Piore, Code Officer, Ron Brand. If you have a good brand name, they don't murder. I don't. No. I don't. I, I got that. <laughs> Record Bell, Ron Brand. Paul Ruffin, our clerk of the board. We have two emergency exits, one that you came in, one to your right. The meetings will be conducted in the rules procedure of the Zoning Board's Appeals adopted on January 22nd, 2024. Can I get a motion for last month's meeting? Motion, motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 There was no legal notice published for tonight's ZBA, for tonight's agenda. ZBA, ZB, 0301-24, Fowler Family Trust. It's a continuation, and this is a hearing to continue to tonight's meeting from the April 22nd, 2024 meeting. There's also no new applications for tonight's meeting that would have otherwise provided publishing, posting, or giving public notice thereof. So we're going to continue ZB 0301-24, Fowler Family Trust, 6176 Hunters Drive, Farmington, New York, 14425. The applicant is requesting an area variance to the provisions contained within Chapter 165, Schedule 1, Attachment 1 of the Farmington Town Code. The applicant wishes to create a third lot that would have a minimum lot width of 22 feet. Town code requires a minimum lot width of 125 feet. Proposed lot will be part of proposed resubdivision of lot R5-A with tax ID number 29.13-1-5-100 and lot number R5-B with a tax ID number 29.13-1-5.200. Point two zero zero of the Pheasant Crossing subdivision. These three proposed lots would be located along the west side of the Pheasant Crossing and within the Pheasant Crossing subdivision track. All lots are zoned RS-25 residential spur. Okay, so it's here to speak on that. Yes? You just made Just you. Uh, no one's on the line tonight. So, you, so yeah. I'm here just to tell you that the resolution is fine the way it is. Any comments from the staff? Yeah, just uh, for the record, the planning board at its meeting on April, May 17th, right? Um, May 15th, one of those days. One of those days. At our age, it doesn't matter. They received the soil report requested from Mr. Baker and two maps from Venezia Associates, both of which the planning board uh, received the night of the meeting, and they continued their public hearing to the first meeting in June to have time to review the material and the information provided. Copies of those documents were provided to you by the clerk of the planning board for your information so that you knew what was going on, what the soils uh, report looks like and what the, the maps look like that Venezia Associates are drawing. 
So the planning board anticipates making a determination uh, at the June 1st meeting and uh, determining whether they have adequate information or not. So uh, up to you guys. Before I have a few questions to put on the record before you can answer them. In the report, I saw one sentence saying the site can reasonably support construction of a new residence. What does that mean, can reasonably? I don't hear that in construction very often. Well, it can reasonably support something. Based on his expertise and his years in business, he's saying we can put the home anywhere we want that the soil will hold the home. I think that's for probably more of a question for um, the person writing the letter, but his interpretation to me is he said, Jim, you, you can do anything you want the soil will hold. You can get as close as you want to the slopes. There's no problem. And I think he also issued a drawing of that to indicate the code by the town also indicates you have to be so far from the base and from the crest. It's something that the town, yeah, we were provided with that. Yeah, so um, he did that, probably that print so indicates that he's saying that the soils and with that map, they were well within allowed that designation. So he is he making an assumption about the soils that are there? Were there borings done or something to prove what's there after this? Well, he hasn't talked about any borings. He's based on the soil sample. I think in that business, you have certain soil types, and those types indicate what the, I guess, the, the structure of the soil is the part of the strength of the soil. And based on those soils that are in that area, he's indicating that they were whole home built on that property. And where did he get the soils information from? I think that's uh, available in the cloud. I think you could just pull it out of the internet someplace. Well, that's true. I guess that still falls under the can reasonably support. It's a question. Well, I think he gave you the map also showing the soil types where the house will be built. Right. The, to me, I don't know. I'm overstepping my bounds, but there's to yeah, substantiate that with something anyway. But mm -hmm. with borings to what knows under the ground, my experience in. Um, I think, and then, I think at this stage, um, I think my attorney would be saying that these type of questions you're asking, you should be asking the expert if that's the Okay, that's fine. I'm just, I, just, I, guess I, I don't know what else to say. No, no, that's fine. And then it's on the record and he can review it. Sure. And then pass on information to the town. That's reasonable. And also, I guess one other, I don't know if it's appropriate or not, but during construction, with the soil conditions that I saw in the report, how do you maintain stability? Yeah. Right, again, again, but I'm just saying for the record, it's a question, that's all. Again, I think if you have questions like that, then I thought it would be presenting to uh, the yeah. NTF. Mm -hmm. He's probably the one that be able to answer that question. Yeah, please. That's mine for right now. Any other questions from the board? Yeah, I have a question about, um, so if you build the house up to the edge of the slope, and again, I know you might not be able to answer this, but then what happens if you want to build an accessory structure in the future? Because according to town code, all accessory structures have to be in the backyard, they have to be behind the front residence. So if you build it up to, if you're building on the slope, then where does that leave you if you want to build an accessory structure? And not just for you or the resident now, but in the future, because this, this has to go the long, the long game, right? So, um, I think in the, the documents that I submitted to everybody, deed restrictions indicate that there will be nothing built on that slope. So it's indicating even there that I don't want anything back there. I think it says the only exception to that would be if posts would be put into the slope for a uh, platform uh, out back, no buildings. 
So a deed restriction is something that the property owner can put on with that. It's not enforceable by the town though. Unless the town decides that they want to make it part of the No. The restrictions are not enforceable by the town. We can only enforce town code. Has deed restrictions been brought up before in the past? Correct. Several, several court cases. Does any board member have questions on that? You're talking about court cases in the state or the country? State. Okay. They're, they're, they're a civil matter. Nothing involving the town. But yes, I understand that. Yeah. 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 Mine refers to in his own letter, he so he stipulates that he's suggesting either a raised basement with less depth or slab, not basement. And he shows some concerns about the horizontal geometric separation would go down farther. It would it sounds to me like he's saying more risky. And what is the intent? And that's these are you know without a definition or you know something that says why is this stable? These are concerns. Again, if you want to question him, I believe that if I remember the letter is indicating in the very first paragraph, uh, if you have that in front of you, that. The house can be built anywhere. Right, but then he goes on in the same way. I understand. Right. So I guess if you needed him to say, well, on a scale of one to ten, I'm saying it's it's better not to do it to an extreme. I think he's just trying to make a statement. Okay. I just that you know, obviously that's great about Surrey when he says you can do it anywhere you want, and then goes on to say, Well, if you do this, it might not work, and you could do this, but then you could take the basement out completely. So it really doesn't stipulate that he's 100% secure or certain that this is going to be stable. Yeah, I, I understand. Has to buy, I guess. Yeah, these are just questions that are concerning. Yeah. No, somebody brought it up. I don't know if you um, realize, but this is the second time he's gone out to that piece of property and done this stuff. This is the second report he submitted. I'm wondering if there was questions. In front of no, I, I understand that, but if it weren't for the fact that he kind of contradicts himself in the second in the second half of the letter than his statement in the first. But that kind of raises that kind of raises a flag with me, and that's just a concern. And just walking the site versus warrants and stuff like that is just a concern for my book. That yeah, it jumps out actually when you read this. It's like Ken. And he's not referring to anything. He's not showing that he did stability tests. He just walked the thing in the spring, and right. And then is concerned that maybe a full basement won't work, maybe a partial basement, but you know maybe a slant won't work. And it just, it just doesn't. Give us money, you know, it leaves a lot open for interpretation. Okay. So is this is this really a question for a building permit? Or is this for subdivision? No, it's just a response to this letter. It's it's right. yeah. but, that's all that's all it is. And we just wanted to have it out there. You want to get it clarified. Okay. So would you like me to have him clarify it first? Well, he should. I would say yes. Yes. Yeah, the planning board's going to weigh in on what they want. So I wouldn't start right off just responding to these questions. There may be others that the planning board has. And he'll be able to view these questions. So. And one of the questions that I had in, in looking at the, uh, the drawings, um, you're no longer using APD engineering. You're... You're, you're using Venezia associates. Okay. And the drawings that Venezia has submitted, were they reviewed by Mr. Baker? Yes. This is, yeah. Can, can I say that he reviewed them entirely? I, I, 
That's a good because if she was submitted those drawings to look at before they went out there. Okay, because the there's nothing on any of the maps that say the delineation of the soils were based upon his his findings. And that is something maybe you want to talk with Venezia about. Sure. So that there is some relationship between what the soils right. report is saying and what these maps are showing. That, that, that's what, that was my initial review. Anything else? Yes, yeah, sir. With with that, I've drafted a, a resolution to uh, continue this to the next month to allow the planning board to do their seeker stuff, and uh, hopefully. Uh, We'll be able to uh, take some action here on this next month. We'll see what what the planning board comes up with. Okay. So, says here, do I like to have a motion for this draft resolution? Sure, I can make a motion to waive the entire reading of the draft resolution and just accept it as presented by the town. Motion by Jody, second by I'll second by Kelly. Roll call vote. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. All in favor, guys, that changed the busy day. No roll call. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? Or no? So the motion is passed. The journal continue of the public hearing upon the request of the area variance. Proposed lot R5 dash C of our human trust and subdivision. We'll move on to other board matters. Okay. Comments? Like development update? Well, believe it or not, they have started the first section of sidewalks over on County Road 41. They're working on the section between Savala and 332. Uh, first thing to be moved is a telephone pole or a power pole that was smack dab in the middle of where they needed it, but it's gone now. And uh, they are doing their design work on the bridge crossing there at Beaver Creek. And the neighbors are starting to get a little nervous because they're seeing all those flags out there on their lawns. <laughs> That's the worst where they're going to be digging and, and whatnot. So um, that's positive. We meet tomorrow with uh, the engineers and, uh, and the attorneys for the White Stone Incentive Zoning Project over there on 332 and 41. Um, and they have started work over in Armbrook. I'm taking all the air out of Dan's speech, but I got phone calls today from people over there that I asked right on there. Mm -hmm. Huh? Concerning flags? Or? No, oh. concerning the development and what's going on over there. They're, they're digging the first detention facility in farm work. <laughs> yeah. It's getting people all excited about what's going on. Curious. That's it for me for now. Officer. Um, yeah, so your next meeting, uh, obviously we have Tim Fowler coming back in and you also have a front setback from a resident that lives on Hook Road up in the north side of the country, of the township here, I should say. Um, and uh, he is looking to build an addition onto his home and will be going into the front setback. So he's looking for some relief there. So that will be coming to you also next month. Uh, we are still in looking for a zoning officer. 
Uh, that position is still open and we're still doing a lot of training uh, down in my office, training new staff. So uh, we again continue and if you guys are missing anything, by all means, let me know. And uh, I think Ron covered most of the projects, so I won't, won't continue there. That could have, could have happened. There was like that much. They never realized its purpose. Yep. Hey. That's all I got. So we have a meeting next month, June twenty fourth. Motion. Second. Favor. Aye. Meetings adjourned.